not gonna push you away or pretend I don't know you because of some dream. I was hoping you'd say that. A dream is just a dream, right? They don't mean a thing. Right. No big deal. I mean, everyone has the strangest dreams about the strangest people, like the, the mailman, right? Have you seen my mailman? I hope I'm not dreaming about that guy. <laughs> so no big deal. No big deal. Still friends? Yeah, still friends. So listen, listen carefully. I don't know what the hell we've been doing the last few years. But above all others, you belong with me. Can, can you repeat that? Something wrong? No, you idiot. What you said before. I said you belong with me. Surprised. Yeah. Can you blame me? You know, I, I know I'm not exactly famous for my conversational skills, but it doesn't mean I don't have anything to say. It's just sometimes a little harder for me to say it. But you're in luck. Because you don't mean to say another word. with me. I know it must be torture. You're kidding? I love peaches and herb. Really? You do? Yeah. In fact, I'm not sure which one I love more. Peaches or herb? <laughs> it's hard to choose. I choose you. What's happened today, you know? My, my dad and David and Bo and Nora finally getting married. It's just hard to believe all of it happened. What happened? You. Yeah. Me like this again. It's really weird. Good. Weird or bad weird? Definitely good weird. I can live with good weird. <laughs> yeah, me too. So maybe it's just that no one else will put up with us. Or maybe we just belong together. So in your letter, you told me to meet you here at midnight if I wanted to have a future with you. And I didn't make it. I wanted you here so much. And when you weren't, I felt my heart break and I gave up on you. Let's fix that. All right? Tonight at midnight, I'm going to be here. You know, there's not, there's not too many people who are lucky enough to get a second chance. Bo and Nora and Jess and Brody. Maybe us. Yes. 